what are you hearing and what do you believe are the voters top uh, concerns and priorities based on uh, what you've been knocking yeah. on the doors yeah um, well again I think one a lot of folks have said they're they're generally happy with the current direction of the town um, obviously a um, hot button issue that isn't necessarily um, what the the town is voting on or doing with but obviously there's a lot of kind of um, overlap in terms of the future of the community um, and, and candidly I, I think a lot of folks are talking about the referendum right I go to someone's door I say I'm running for town council um, what are your biggest priorities in normal and I get a lot of folks um, probably more folks than not that are actually bringing up the referendum as their top issue so I think to some extent that's almost kind of um, overshadowing maybe even some of the the council issues um, that I'm hearing because if there was one issue that I would tell you Charlie that I'm hearing most of the door it's referendum and overwhelmingly it's you know folks saying I think it's something that they want to see passed that's okay. what I'm hearing at the door so where do you stand do you want to see it pass and yeah I'm, I'm, I'm voting to support it yes and why um, I think that uh, one I've, I've attended some of the educational meetings um, at the town level um, I just attended the one um, last night um, I think that the district is doing a really professional job um, kind of educating folks on making the case um, and, and I would say at a fund fundamental level for me um, you know me and my fiance we don't have kids yet but someday we're going to and you know uh, we her and I've talked about you know we have to have um, a strong school district in our community um, and again going back to some of the economic development issues I talked about earlier when someone moves to the town one of the first things that they're gonna ask the realtor if they have kids is how's the schools right um, and so from both kind of a, a quality of life standpoint for our families and also you know kind of a, a economic development perspective I think we got to have um, strong schools and I think that you know passing this referendum is a part of that 